Today we're starting a four-part series called Mini Medical Miracles. Recent breakthroughs that may not save your life, but could actually dramatically change the quality of it. We'll be looking at insomnia, dandruff, and wrinkles, but today we're starting with baldness. More than half of all men and three in ten women will deal with some form of hair loss at some point in their lives. Until now, there have only been treatments to save what you have, not actually grow new hair. But thanks to a fluke discovery, that may be about to change. Here's NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyder. Bald may be beautiful to some, but apparently not to all. Or combating hair loss wouldn't be a $1 billion a year industry. I'm not only the heckler president, but I'm also a client. It has been thought we are born with all the hair follicles we will ever have on our heads. And then they reduce over time. Treatments can either try and preserve what you have or cover up what you've lost. But behind this secret door at the University of Pennsylvania Medical Center, which even we weren't allowed behind, that is all about to change. When we first saw it, we really couldn't believe our eyes. We thought we had just made a mistake or it was something unusual going on. While Dr. George Cozzarellis and his team were studying the role of stem cells in healing skin wounds in mice, they made a startling discovery. They had regenerated new hair follicles in the wounded skin in combination with a special compound. We went back and verified there were new hair follicles forming. These weren't just left over from before or something. They, they actually were forming just as if they were, they were in an embryo or a fetus. They were developing for the first time in the skin. But a word of caution, do not try this at home. We don't want people using cheese graters on their heads, you know, so it's really uh, the combination of this injury as well as the compound that's gonna be important for developing this. Human trials are not far off, and one company has already licensed the technology from Dr. Cozzarellis' lab. If everything goes perfectly, it's possible that within a few years we'll have something that's available as a new treatment. Hey, Nancy, good morning. Hey, Matt. Okay, I'm somewhat interested in this. Um, this so this is a big deal. It, it's it, a big deal because it goes to the heart of uh, how we um, really regenerate our bodies and it's with stem cells. You, you hear a lot about Rogaine and Propecia. Mm -hmm. So explain the difference here. What do they promise to do and how do they go about doing it versus what they may have captured in this laboratory? Propecia and Rogaine work by grow, stimulating hair growth out of the hair follicle that's there. But if you've lost the hair follicle, nothing's going to grow. This breakthrough combines stem cell discovery with this magic compound, which I assume is a growth factor kind well, well, of thing. Well, what do you think it is? I mean, I think it's growth factors and stimulators that are going to make the stem cells start to grow, but they grow into the hair follicle. And once you have a hair follicle, you can grow a normal hair. To the folks down in the control room, can you put one of those images up of the fine hair again that was grown on this on this mouse on the skin of this mouse? Okay. It comes in white. Because so is that a problem? there's no pigment in mouse skin. But the assumption is that in human skin where there is pigment, you would get normal colored hair. Worst case scenario, what if it doesn't come in the same color? You, you die. It. And so this one is at 11 weeks, so we can see it coming in right. pretty fully. Did it work every time, or is there, like some of these other medications or things you apply to your scalp, a, a, a large percentage of people who don't oh, get the no. results? Oh, this, no. This works consistently enough that they are convinced they have a breakthrough and they plan to bring this to market. And, and so how soon could we see a product? We're going to have to see human trials, which will be the next year or two. And I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, didn't turn out to be in the market in the next three, four years, so maybe even sooner. You get hair, you do not have an insatiable appetite for cheese you or anything not. like that. No, no, no. Do stay away from your cheese grater. Right. Okay. But we're going to be talking about this more and more and more. Stem cells, stem cells for life saving stuff, and perhaps not so much for the life saving stuff, but it comes back to the root of how we grow and repair cells. All right, Nancy, thanks. Thanks very much. Literally and, and figuratively. Exactly right. <laughs> Tomorrow on Mini Medical Miracles Insomnia, breakthrough in catching some Z's could be in the palm of your hand. Coming up in our next half hour, though.